Hi, beautiful crystal community. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly place crystals on the body in an eight crystal chakra body layout. So to perform an eight crystal chakra body layout, you're going to need eight crystals. These should correspond in color to the chakras that we're going to be placing the stones on, but they should also be suitable in shape and size. I love to work with large flat stones that won't slide off the body and they're easy to place my hands over. Raw crystals are okay too, um, but make sure that there's no sharp edges, there's no flaking and no dust that might come off the stone and potentially irritate your client's skin. If you're working with tumbled stones, just keep in mind that these do tend to misbehave when they're placed on the body and they do roll around a lot. So you might need to place a blanket or a sheet over your client or yourself first and just bunch the sheet around the stone to keep it in place. I really don't recommend working with tumbled stones in crystal body layouts um, because I do find them impractical. However, the energies of tumbled stones is absolutely fine and they are suitable for other types of crystal work like crystal grids and crystal elixirs. All right, the first stone that we place on the body in any crystal layout is the Earth Star Chakra Stone. The Earth Star Chakra is located about six inches below the bottom of our feet. It is a transpersonal chakra, meaning that it is not connected to the physical body. It is connected to our etheric body or our energetic body. The Earth Star Chakra is really connected to our personal history, our um, human history, so even as far back as our evolutionary process, uh, our childhood, it's very stabilizing, um, it forms the foundations of our energetic body, and it's a very important chakra to work with. The reason why we always place it first is to ensure that we keep our client grounded, or yourself if you're working on yourself, and that we are ensuring that all this high vibrational crystal healing is going to be integrated and anchored into the physical body because if we focus only on the upper chakras and we're not grounded then this can lead to us feeling a little bit dizzy a little bit disconnected and um, those all of those high vibrational energies find it a little difficult to land in the physical body so we always place the earth star chakra crystal first the stone that i'm going to be placing for this layout is smoky quartz I love smoky quartz because it is very grounding, but it also brings clarity as well. I'm placing that between my client's ankles here. And by the way, this is my client, Vanessa, my mannequin. <laughs> I don't always have a person on hand when I feel inspired to do a YouTube video. So I've got my mannequin here. She loves volunteering, don't you, Vanessa? She's, she's a very good client. Um, so we place the Earth Star Chakra Crystal between the ankles or below the feet. Ideally, we do want it below the feet um, exactly in the place of the chakra, but on a typical length healing table, there's usually not enough room to be able to do this over the end of the table. So it's okay to place that stone between your client's feet as well. Stones that are suitable to use here are black and brown stones. So think about stones like obsidian, um, Apache tears, hematite, smoky quartz, black tourmaline, etc. Anything that's going to be brown or black. Once we've placed the Earth Star Chakra Stone, the next stone we're going to place is the Crown Chakra Stone. The root of the Crown Chakra is actually located deep in the brain in the top third of the head at the pituitary gland and it funnels and radiates out through the top of the head. The crown chakra can be felt all through the top third of the head from the top of the forehead, out the back of the head and even through the top of the head here. So when we're placing the crown chakra stones, this is the area that we really want to be placing it in or the top of the forehead, which is where I'm going to be placing this stone. So the crown chakra, is represented by the color violet, which is a really light color purple. I'm working with a very clear violet, um, clear, uh, sorry, violet calcite stone. It's a beautiful stone. Um, any light colored amethysts would also be good to use here. And you can also use um, clear stones as well, even though clear stones are usually reserved for the soul star chakra or the higher crown chakra, because these two 
chakras are so close and there's definitely overlap between the two, it's okay to use clear stones here too, like clear quartz or clear calcite. But today I'm going to be using the um, light violet calcite stone. Now there's a little bit of disagreement amongst where we go next with placing the stones. Some crystal therapists um, say that we need to start at the bottom and work our way up. Others say we start at the top and work our way down. I say, what do you need? What does your client need? And what energies are we working with? What do we want to achieve in the healing session? If your clients come to you because they're feeling very ungrounded, very unsettled, maybe anxious and skittish, then I would start with the lower chakras and work my way up because this will provide additional grounding right from the start of the session. If your client's here for a really expansive, energizing, um, spiritually focused healing session and they're already quite grounded, then I would start with the higher chakras and work my way down. As long as we've got the earth star chakra and the crown chakra in place, it really doesn't matter too much where we go from here. For the purposes of the video though, I'm going to be placing the third eye chakra crystal next and I'll just work my way down the client's body. So the third eye chakra is located at the pineal gland, which is a gland located deep within the brain towards the back and center of the brain. But we actually feel this chakra coming out through um, the center of the head, so around the eyes and between the eyebrows and out through the back of the head. This is why when we place third eye chakra crystals, we place them between the eyebrows here. This resonates with the color um, indigo or, um, or deep purple, the third eye chakra. So any stones that are going to be darker purple, like a dark amethyst, or I've got a dark purple lapidolite stone here, but also into the indigo spectrum, which is like a deep blue color. So stones like lapis lazuli, azurite, um, sodalite, iolite, even sapphires, these are going to be great to use through the third eye as well. The next stone that I'm going to place is the throat chakra stone. The throat chakra is located right in the center of the neck and it can be felt through the throat, the upper shoulders, the jaw, the mouth. And when we place stones on, this throat, on the throat chakra, we place them either in the dip of the throat or in the center of um, the throat or in between the body or the shoulders and the jaw. Just keep in mind that it can feel really uncomfortable having big stones sitting here. So I do tend to work with large, flat, big stones, but in the throat area, this is definitely a place where we want to work with smaller, less obtrusive stones because it can feel quite uncomfortable here. And your client, even just through working with the throat chakra, may feel the need to cough and clear their throat, but it will really add to their discomfort if you've got sharp or bulky stones here. So just be mindful of that. The throat chakra is represented by the color blue, and this tends to be more of a light to medium color blue rather than the deep indigo blue that we've got at the third eye chakra. So think about stones like blue lace agate, turquoise, aquamarine, I've got soda light here, uh, blue kyanite's a great one as well. So you've got lots of options for choosing stones to work at the throat chakra. As we move down the body, we're going to be placing a stone at the heart chakra. Now, the heart chakra is located right in the center of the chest over the heart. This is represented by the color green in most um, charts and diagrams, but it's okay to also use pink stones here as well. The heart chakra is a really important chakra because it's right in the middle of um, the energy system of the body. So that there's an equal number of main chakras below the heart as what there is above the heart. So it's really a bridging chakra. And if you think about it, your heart and your emotions actually connect your physical experience to your spiritual um, experience. So it is a really important chakra. And if this one is out of balance, then it throws everything off and it creates a lot of um, dissection or separation in the energetic body. I'm working with a beautiful uh, piece of green Amazonite at the heart chakra here. 
but you can also work with other green stones like um, malachite, uh, moss agate, green aventurine, or pink stones like rose quartz, rhodochrosite, um, pink kunzite, pink tourmaline, um, uh, rhodonite. So there's lots of options, probably the most number of options when we're working at the heart chakra of, than any other chakra when it comes to which stones you can choose to work with. The next stone I'm going to be placing is the solar plexus chakra stone. The solar plexus can be felt through the lower ribs where the, the ribs dip in together. It's located between the belly button and the heart and it is a really powerful chakra for um, positivity, success, creativity and just really putting yourself out there and letting yourself shine to the world. So it is represented by the color yellow or gold. Suitable stones that we can use here are citrine, which is my favorite choice for the solar plexus chakra, and I'm working with a large um, citrine point in this layout. But also other uh, gold and yellow stones like tiger's eye, pyrite, yellow jasper, um, even amber is another good choice here. So there are quite a few options when we're working with the solar plexus chakra. All right, as we keep moving down the body, we get to the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is a chakra located between the belly button and the groin, and it's really connected to our digestive system, our um, ego, our personal power, um, our reproductive system, and a lot of what goes on in the lower body, including our energy levels as well. It's represented by the color orange, and if you're working on a client, you can get a sense of where that chakra would be just by gently placing your hand over your client's belly and you'll feel a little dip where their belly button kind of goes in and you'll know to place the stone a couple of inches below that. So orange stones that we can work with here are lighter colored carnelian. I'm working with sunstone here, which is a beautifully positive orange and gold fleckled stone. Crab agate is another one, and even some orange amber colored stones would be great to use here too. And the final stone we place in an eight stone chakra layout is the root chakra. Uh, the root chakra is located at the perineum, or the root of that chakra is located at the perineum between the anus and the genitals, and it kind of radiates out and down between the legs and out towards the knees. So we have these two chakras, which is the crown chakra, which comes out through the top of our head, and the root chakra, which goes down from our groin downwards. And so when we're placing this stone, we can place it anywhere between the groin and the knees, and it's going to be within this chakra funnel. So it's going to be captured and, and energetically connected there. So I tend to place this stone just below the, my client's groin, as long as it's above the knees. And this is where having a sheet really helps as well because it acts like a sling and the stone just sits nicely there um, on, on top of the sheet. You don't have to go digging around for it. Um, and you, we just place it there and it's, it's in the root chakra funnel. The root chakra is represented by the color red. So red stones that we can use here include red jasper, which I'm working with today. Um, but also red carnelian, um, red, other red agates, and even red uh, speckled stones. So stones like bloodstone, which can sometimes have a lot of green in it, red and green. Um, dragon's blood jasper, which is also a red and green speckled stone. Um, and we can even use some root chakra, uh, sorry, some earth star chakra stones here sometimes too. So like hematite or smoky quartz, for example. And once all the stones are in place, we can go ahead and set our intention through and over the stones for the healing. You can also do this as you're placing the stones. That's perfectly fine. I prefer to just place the stones down and then go and set my intention over all of them at the same time. So the way we do this is by simply holding our hands over the stone or placing them um, in contact with our client's body, whatever feels right for you. And we can close our eyes and just mindfully send the intention that we have for the healing into the stones and into our client. 
This could be a really generalized intention. So um, an example of this might be, I send this person, Vanessa, um, love, light and healing and anything else that they need at this time. And you might say that over each chakra point. You can choose to say it out loud too if you prefer. I don't, I say it just in my mind and I, I say it quietly in my mind. Alternatively, your intention might be very specific. So for example, your client may have come to see you because they're having um, a period of separation or they're feeling disconnected from their partner uh, and they might be coming to see you to help repair that. So you could send that specific intention into each stone that this person finds reconciliation with their loved one. So use your intuition and trust your judgment here when you're setting the intentions. In terms of how long that we do this for with each stone, if you're just starting out, you may not be used to just standing in one spot with your hand sending energy into somebody. So even 30 seconds is going to be fine at each chakra area. Or if you're a Reiki practitioner or a body worker who's used to spending longer periods of time with your hands over your clients, then you might spend anywhere up to two minutes at each chakra point sending your intention into the stone and into your client's energy center for healing. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching today. If you're wondering where to purchase your crystals from um, and you'd love to try working with some of the large flat stones that I work with in my crystal body layouts like these beautiful stones here, then you can visit my online crystal shop, which is www.evolvecrystals.net. We sell beautiful large super stones like these for um, your very powerful crystal body work, but we also sell chakra stone sets like this, which are a little bit smaller and more affordable. And um, they're really great for using for crystal body work because they don't slide off the body, they don't roll around and they're beautiful quality with each stone being the same size. <laughs>